we have three pieces by the amazing, amazing American composer William Bolcom. So this guy is actually still living. He is back east. Um, he's 82 years old now. He has won a, gosh, an armful of awards, including the Pulitzer Prize, the National Medal of Arts, a Grammy, the Detroit Music Award, was named Composer of the Year by Musical America. He was recognized for his efforts at the University of Michigan that he was teaching to. I mean, this guy has to build an entire other room on his house just to hold all of these awards that he's earned. Um, he is married to the mezzo-soprano Joan Morris. Now, actually, I had one of their albums when I was back in high school. I believe it was an album of all Gershwin tunes. He was the accompanist, she was a singer, and I had no idea at the time that they were husband and wife. But I do remember loving every second of that album. He actually studied composition with Darius Mio while at Mills College in Oakland, Leland Smith while at Stanford going for his DMA, and while he was at the Paris Conservatoire with Olivier Messiaen, earning there the, pardon my French, deuxième, yeah, deuxième prix de composition, which is the second composition prize. His compositions encompass a wide variety of styles and tonalities. Now, according to Wikipedia, Bolcom's goal was to erase the boundaries between popular music and art music. Among the titles of Bolcom's compositions that caught my eye include a 60-second ballet for chickens, Yubi's Lucky Day, which I would imagine is a tribute to Yubi Blake and Lucky Roberts, and uh, Lime Jello Marshmallow Cottage Cheese Surprise. I think I'll pass on that one. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to play for you two pieces from his Garden of Eden suite. The Garden of Eden suite was written in 1969 and uses ragtime as a storytelling device for the story of Adam and Eve. So this is Old Adam, which when you hear this, it's gonna sound like Old Adam is strutting around like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> 